A lot of weird stuff happened in the Trump presidency, and not all of it was down to the president himself. So, what can't we ignore about Ivanka? Ivanka Trump has said, and done, no shortage of strange things. Her stint as the first daughter and her former job as a presidential advisor had the American public convinced that they knew exactly who Ivanka Trump was. Since she exited the political stage in 2022, however, Ivanka has been desperately trying to fix her broken public image. While she's committed herself to spending more time with her children and helping people in need, there are some things about her that can't be swept under the rug. Ivanka Trump's 2017 book, Women Who Work, was published to biting criticism and a chorus of scathing reviews. From NPR to The New York Times, the bulk of these reviews lambasted Ivanka for her bland, surface-level feminism and refusal to acknowledge her own privilege. However, one detail stands out as particularly strange and ignorant. Women Who Work includes a plethora of inspirational quotes. One of these is from Toni Morrison, a renowned black American author who, among many other modern classics, wrote Beloved. That book follows Seth, a black woman who escapes slavery and is haunted by the ghost of her dead child. The quote describes Seth's struggle. Bit by bit, she had claimed herself. Freeing yourself was one thing. Claiming ownership of that freed self was another. Ivanka then likens this experience to effective time management with the quote, Are you a slave to your time or the master of it? Toni Morrison, who died in 2019, did not make a public statement on the specific usage of her quote, though she made her disapproval of the Trump campaign crystal clear in a 2016 essay for The New Yorker titled Making America White Again, in which she wrote, So scary are the consequences of a collapse of white privilege that many Americans have flocked to a political platform that supports and translates violence against the defenseless as strength. Sometimes, though, Ivanka's strange scandals went far beyond a mere book quote. It's obviously not normal for the daughter of a president to be automatically elevated to important political status, especially when nobody actually voted for her. People often question Ivanka's role in the White House, but her appearance at the G20 summit really had people scratching their heads. You're helping women all over the world, and I want to thank you. Thank you very much. In one video from the event, Ivanka awkwardly nods along as world leaders discuss social justice. When she tries to interject, everyone goes silent and turns away from her. The conversation has gone down in internet history as one of the most awkward Ivanka Trump moments, and one that was captured by millions. In a July 2019 tweet, House Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, It may be shocking to some, but being someone's daughter actually isn't a career qualification. The U.S. needs our president working the G20. Bringing a qualified diplomat couldn't hurt either. That's not the end of the nepotism, though. Ivanka Trump and her husband, Jared Kushner, became White House advisors during the Trump administration. Even more weirdly, they both worked without a salary to boost their public perception and make them come off as selfless. Of course, there's more to that choice than meets the eye, as Ivanka seemingly leveraged her political power to make millions for her business. After meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2017, she received preliminary approval for three trademarks that same day. And a month prior to her father's election, the Russian government renewed two of her trademarks. While it is likely that she would have received some privileges from her proximity to the president, Ivanka's official position in the White House gave her special opportunities to further her own personal brand. But that's not all. Donald Trump has long been criticized for his overly flashy taste, as have most of his relatives. Prior to her father's presidential run, however, Ivanka stood apart from her family. As a teenager, she spent time with old money types and knew how to get in their good graces. Perhaps most importantly, she wanted to be considered separate from her father. In a Vanity Fair article penned by Ivanka's former best friend, Lysandra Orstrom, Ivanka is described as possessing a refined grace that charmed Orstrom's Newport Beach community. Since 2016, however, it appears that the rich and powerful have held nothing but disdain for Trump's daughter. Orstrom, who claims to have once known Ivanka best, is sure of it. She writes, I've been comforted by the certainty that the backlash from those whose respect she craves most must sting.